I have <clears throat> had the problem of the USB StarTech.com display link adapter uh, connected to an external monitor and the monitor was not filling up the screen. As you can see there was these black lines across. I googled a whole bunch of ways to try and fix it. I reset the PRAM, I reset the computer, uh, restarted it, uninstalled, reinstalled the uh, StarTech adapter uh, software in order to try and get it to work. Nothing worked. Finally went online to talk to these people uh, making this video because I know other people were kind of asking the same question but all the answers were causing the screen to go blank or wasn't connecting or anything. I wasn't having those issues. I was having it connect and then the error was saying no monitor so I had to go back to an older uh, software for this the 4.1 I believe is what it was that I downloaded in order to get it to show up when I went to monitors um, it wasn't showing up as displays this other one up here was not saying display link it said no monitor and it wasn't showing up correctly so there was an easy fix <clears throat> that they helped me with and what they did was force the computer to show all the resolution profiles available and that is what worked for me because none of these were what this monitor needed um, just to go over the setup that I have the new MacBooks only have USB 3's um, or USB-C I mean so I have one of these velcro to the back of my computer and then I have a pony I should have had this up before USB 2.0 combo plugged into it which looks like this one right here so I have this thing here velcroed onto the back of my computer and into the USB I have this so that I can use memory cards but my monitor was plugged into this uh, port here this thing was plugged into this and so I thought maybe it might have been connections but then I plugged it straight in still having the same issue and I'll show you how I fixed this to work so what you do is normally it shows what the computer finds what the MacBook finds but on an Apple computer you can force all the resolutions to display by selecting scaled but holding down the option key and then when you do that I was holding down option I clicked on scaled see how it shows all the possible resolutions you can pick these ones were too big this one filled up the entire screen so that's your answer that's how you get it if you have the issue with the black bars surrounding your monitor or your extended monitor and you're using some type of setup where it's you know going through a whole list of things um, I know I saw a few people were having that same issue with the HDMI but uh, in order to do that that was the only way to fix it holding down the option key and click and scaled and then this one showed up 1680 by 1050 because before it was only these three and these were what were causing this so I had to pick 1680 by 1050 which was the native resolution for this monitor alright cool hope this helps